today let's take up the increment and decrement operators in detail first of all let's take up the increment operators and here you have got pre increment operator and post increment operator now as i said this is a pre increment sorry this is a pre increment operator and this is a post increment operator now if you have a variable like this int uh, a is equal to 6 right and after that you write a plus plus and then you write plus plus a when you are just writing plus plus a or a plus plus it doesn't make a difference whether you are doing a post increment or a pre increment but if the post increment or pre increment use is used with other uh, operators then uh, there can be a change in the output so now here i take up this supposing i have int a is equal to 6 okay and then i take one integer i take b i write b is equal to a plus plus and then we write c out a and c out b this is one coding I have. Another coding I am going to give here. The same thing but just the post increment will become a pre increment here. So here I am going to write b is equal to plus plus a. And then c out a and c out b like this. right? Now let us try to understand how these two codings work. Now... Uh, if I take up this one first, right, this is a post increment. This statement b is equal to a plus plus, and here it is b is equal to plus plus a, right. Now, here you have got two operators one is the assignment operator, one is the increment operator. Here again, it is the same thing, but the difference is here it is a post increment, here it is a pre increment. If you have a pre increment operator, the increment is done first. The, there are two operators here. So the increment is done first and then and then the assignment is done. In this case, assignment is done first assignment is done first and then the value is incremented now let's see here when i say this assignment is done first this is broken into two parts right one is the assignment and one is the incrementing so assignment is done first so this part b is equal to a right and the next part is a plus plus like this it is done fine so when you say b is equal to a what is b b now b becomes equal to 6 and when you do a plus plus a becomes equal to 7 so when i print these two values c out a and b these two here a will give 7 whereas b will give only 6 because the value has been assigned before doing the incrementing. Now see here, the increment is done first. So here this plus plus a comes first and then you do b is equal to a. Fine. So what happens? a, when you do plus plus a, a's value is 6. Again this is the coding now a's value is 6 so plus plus a means a becomes equal to what 7 right so here a will become equal to 7 and then this b is equal to a means b also becomes equal to 7 right so here when we print a and b both a and b are going to give the values 7 right so this is the basic concept basic difference between a pre-increment and a post-increment meaning 
wherever you have a pre increment that is the first thing to be done whereas if you have a post increment that will be done only after the assignment operator or any other operator you have that will be done in the last right now same way you have the pre decrement and the post decrement so here again let's say int m is equal to 8 right and you have int n and you write m is equal to n minus minus c out m and c out n and then the next coding i write here int m is equal to 8 int n m is equal to minus minus n this is a pre decrement right and then we write c out m and c out n right so now see you have uh, these this is the value this is uh, let me put it like this this is m and this is n initially m has the value 8 right now i am taking up this coding first the coding of post decrement so here when you say m is equal to n minus minus so this is a post decrement so decrement will be done as the second uh, step first of all the first step is the initial uh, sorry assignment right so m is equal to n I, I put it wrongly sorry n is equal to here this statement this should be n is equal to m minus minus and here it should be n is equal to minus minus m right so m is equal to n sorry here again this is n is equal to m minus minus right so first of all what happens n is equal to m so n becomes equal to m so n also gets the value 8 right after that the second part that is m minus minus is done so when m minus minus is done this m becomes equal to 7 so when you print the values of m and n here m will be 7 and n will be 8 sorry n will be 8 here fine now the same thing when we do it using uh, pre decrement okay this is again m and n the initial value is 8 right here you have n is equal to minus minus m this is a pre decrement so here minus minus m is done first so m becomes equal to 7 right so this 8 this becomes equal to what this becomes equal to 7 after that we have this n is equal to m so when you do n is equal to m now n becomes equal to 7 what is the value in m m is 7 so in this case if you print m and n both of them will print 7 right so this is one of the most important things that you have to understand as far as the post and pre decrement operators are concerned and what is the actual difference between these and how they work right in my next session i'll again take up pre decrement uh, post decrement and increment operators and we will try to evaluate some expressions based on this so with that i'll come to the end of this session bye